when I have a good Italian meal, it just feels comfortable and I feel like peace. <laughs> Oh gosh, that would be at my grandmother's house. I was uh, maybe four or five years old, I could probably remember. She lived right across the street from me, so I spent a lot of time over there as a kid. 99% of the time she was in the kitchen cooking. My grandmother used stale Italian bread as her breadcrumbs, but we don't always have Italian bread in the house, so what I do is I go to a good Italian store, like Joey Leone, and I buy his breadcrumbs. But really, Italian bread makes the best breadcrumbs. You know what, sometimes I do this so that I don't make a mess. Now my grandmother used to fry these. She also used to use three parts of beef, ground veal, ground pork, and I just use ground sirloin. I let my nose tell me. But it, you can put the timer on. She put on a di put a dish out for me, put a meatball in it, cut it in half for me, and then um, e either I would eat it plain or she'd take a scoop of sauce from the pot and put it right next to it. As they say in that movie, good fellas. Okay, we got you that too. <laughs> Plate, we'll come back full. <laughs> okay. Oh. First, you gotta get the macaron. Macaron the first. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the best. Mm -hmm. Grandma Tafazio would be proud. The first time I had a crepe was when I was actually in middle school and in French class we would have parties and she would bring in crepes but they were always like cold and made beforehand and she would just put on the Nutella at the time and then the first time I had like a real crepe was I went to France with my choir the summer going into freshman year and they like made them in front of us and they put the Nutella on while it was still hot so it would spread around and it got really gooey and they were huge like when they were folded up they were like the size of this plate and that was like wonderful and they were so filling but everyone wanted to have like a million of them because they were so good. That's a fond memory because I was with a bunch of my friends and I was with my mom. I don't remember my mother being a, a great cook. I remember my lunch when I was going to school on Fridays in school. It was with Catholic school. It was tomato soup with peanut butter sandwiches and a container of milk. That was our lunch every Friday. So, yeah. And if we didn't like, we didn't like what we were eating when you lived in New York, we used to have, they used to call a, a dumb waiter, where they would you'd put your garbage on there at night time, and then the man would collect it at a certain time at night time, evening time, five or six o'clock. So if he didn't like what you were having to eat, we used to stick the food on the dumb waiter, and it would go down. So, um, yeah. Then my father found out. That's well, that was the end. Well, of yeah, that. that was the end of that. One. <laughs> I remember one time. Uh, the door flew off the oven. Oh my God. It hit the wall. Thank God there was nobody. The stove was here. There must have been a gas leak in it or whatever. And it, I guess when they lit it, the door blew off the oven and hit the wall behind. Thank God there was nobody standing there. Otherwise, they would have been. And uh, it left a mark on the wall where it hit.